All right, you're here with Tiffany for Artist Corner. We're here with Naughty by Nature. How y'all fellas doing, baby? I'm all right. This has been rocking a place, just chilling. We here at Groove in here in Jersey representing Flavor Unit's 10th anniversary. This is the takeover. Flavor Unit took over New Jersey, and they call in the big dogs. Flavor Unit's first group under Flavor Unit management, Naughty by Nature. They call in the big dogs to come and shut this mug down. That's exactly what we did. Yo, we doing it like this. It's the flavor unit from the past, the present, and the future. We Jersey for life. You know what I mean? A lot of times, I mean, we get more play on the West Coast, the Midwest, and the South. When it's time to come home to home, we don't get that love, but in the hood. So we always going to be right here in the hood, always doing it for the hood. Ill Town, Newark, Irvington, Jersey, period. We just doing it for Jersey for life. We love it. And this is what we're doing, a brand new album coming out. And if you surf, it's www.naughtybynature.com. Dot damn it. Dot damn it. Yeah. All right, I want to address something you said. How does it make you feel when you don't get as much love on the side where you from? I mean, it, it hurt. I mean, when you could go to Cali and you hear your stuff on every station that's out there, when you come home, you don't get no love. But then when you come in the streets and you see all the people that's out here and they give it love, it's like it don't matter. You know what I mean? It don't matter. We could go gold. Yeah, it's political. It's, we could go gold or platinum, whatever. As long as we got the love in the streets, it don't matter. We don't care whether MTV playing it, you know what I mean, you're watching, or the radio stations, it don't matter. As long as we get love in the streets, that's all that matters. That's why we come to the hood. We that's perform we for the hood. Artist Corner, Artist Corner represents the mother. <laughs> Ain't nobody paid us to come down here. You know what I mean? We came down here on a love. You know what I mean? It's all on a love. We doing this interview here for our people. We love y'all. As long as y'all keep buying it, we gonna keep making it. For real. All right, y'all say y'all doing don't it. Keep buying it. We still gonna keep making it, huh? <laughs> no. All right, you say you're doing this for the people. I mean, what else do you contribute to the to your community? Do you? We ain't contributing nothing but ill lyrics, ill beats, and ill rhymes, huh? We've been doing this since '91 from the voter registration. They know, they know. From everything, you know what I mean? We don't, we don't put so much back into the community, and we don't ask for nothing back because that's not why we doing it. We're not looking for nothing back in return. We just doing it to make sure our people is out there and they handle. You know what I mean? The bottom line, we doing this for our people. We want Jersey to come up because we know how much talent is in all areas. If you don't rap, if you don't do this or that and other, you do something. And we're going to support it regardless, for real. Jersey. All right. You feisty. I'm going to get to you in a minute. Because you the feisty one. I'm going to handle you in a minute. But you, I just interviewed your wife. I mean, she said she's loving married life. How you feel? I love it, man. This is the best move of my life, man. Besides Naughty, I mean, that was the smartest move of my life. When I got with Naughty, I completed my circle. When I got with my wife, I completed another circle. You know what I mean? We got our kids. It's just the best thing that could happen, man. This is family on both sides. So, I mean, I'm happy. So that's the bottom line. Once you happy in whatever you do, no matter what job I occupy. Street butt naked. No we don't get, get to you. We got something for you. We here we go. <laughs> you see him. Yeah, no, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him, but I gotta finish you off first. Right, what, is, what you want to know? All right, now we asked her. You know how she feel about the groupies or whatever. How you feel about her groupies? Listen, man. She been doing this. Listen. When I came out, before we came out, I had a poster on my wall. You know what I mean? So I'm looking at her. I was a groupie. You know what I mean? I'm like, God damn, salt and pepper. You know what I mean? Then when I finally got to meet her and kick it, it wasn't even, it was like on some person to person thing. And it's like, like I said, I couldn't have a better wife, for real. That's love. Where your girl at? My shorty over there somewhere. Where Jackie at? She over there with Pep. Oh, shaking and pop, bounce, bouncing out there. And there. They out there on the dance floor getting their little flirt on. They might be lining up His some wife new. out there too. Yeah. Yeah. All three of our wives out there on the dance floor. They might be bagging up some new cats, but you know what? We don't care because we're happy. That's what you call pussy whipped. <laughs> All right, now y'all know that's blunt for Jersey, y'all. All right, back to you. Back to you, the feisty one. Okay, um, your groupies. How does she feel about that? Listen, man, 
I got love for everybody, man. There's been people that's been following us for years, man. Just like I've been following people for years. And if I saw somebody put it down a decade and I look and say, God damn, you done put in a lot of work for a decade. So when people come up and appreciate our work, show us that love, it's all good, man. That's why we keep doing it, you know what I mean? Fuck the mainstream press, forget mainstream radio and video. It's the people who you walk down the street every day, and we don't need 20 and 30 bodyguards to walk down the streets with us. It's the people that give us love, and this is why we do it, huh? Ain't no way you're gonna see Omar Epps, Pep, Everybody, you're going to see West Coast homies come down here. We don't have everybody. They said we brought bloods to the hood. We brought bloods to the hoods, Crips to the hoods, Latin Kings to the hood, Disciples, Vice Lords. We brought every angle or anything. to the hood, baby. We brought it down here, man. We got love for everybody, man. Whenever you try to come and down the hood, man, you can't mess with us. That's why we deal with this type of shit right here, because this is the real, man. We deal with the real you, homies. It goes deeper, too. It goes from the ghetto to the suburbs, man. We want to shout out all our white peoples, all them people, man. We got love internationally, baby. We've been putting this down for 12 years. So it goes beyond the hood. It starts in the hood, and the rest of the world feeds off of the hood. So we got people internationally for years, man, decades. And we want to thank everybody for all that love, yeah, huh? Try to play us, man. We got money to pay bills. We got killers on the payroll. That's <laughs> all right, this party is for Flavor Unit, right? Yeah, we gotta ask, Yeah, we know that. We got to ask you, how did you get down with them? Um, Flavor Unit, it started with Mark the 45 King. Big up the Mark the 45 King. And when y'all see this, don't get it twisted. Flavor Unit wouldn't be without cool DJ and producer Mark the 45 King. He originated all of this, and we went to him initially with Apache, Lakim Shabazz, Lord Ali Baski. We used to freestyle rhyme in his basement, and eventually it trickled up to Latifah and Shaquem. And then we got on from there, but definitely... All praises due to Mark the 45 King. Yeah. Your last album is on the Flavor Unit also? No. See, the thing was, Flavor Unit managed us. So for the first three albums, they managed us. Then it got a little shaky, and we separated temporarily. And this album we put out wasn't under Flavor Unit management. as management. And we really managed ourselves, but... You know, everything is all good. We came back together, and this is a marriage for life. Naughty by Nature and Flavor Unit. We'll always support them, Queen Latifah, Shaquem. Mm -hmm. Whatever they do, it's family for life. So we just putting this family back together, assembling all this Jersey talent, and we going after the world. So they're managing you again? No, they're not managing us again, but then again, they are. We're managed by God right now. Uh -huh. Y'all taking it into management money. Don't, we, don't, we manage ourselves. He, he's trying to play y'all right now. He's trying to play y'all talking about that God no, role. No, he no, getting no. the money. We do. We got Rebecca <laughs> Foster from Ujima Management, Ujima Entertainment. That's our in-house management. But it's like Flavor Unit manages us, too. They'll always manage That's us. affiliated with them. Definitely. Who are some of the new ones coming out? I mean, are you managing any of them, or are you involved no, with any of them no, personally? No. That's all Flavor Unit's work. Gotti, um, the Apostles, Channel Live. Make sure you say James Gotti, because you know that's Herb Gotti with the murderer. Right, right. James Gotti. All right, all right. Uh -huh. Well, you know, it's all family, but... Yo, the camp is deep, man. The girls, Fate, the R&B girls. Um, it's the girl Angelique on deck. Yo, it, Rowdy Rise, that's right. Yo, the camp is deep, man, and, and, and it spreads. Yeah, y'all catch Rowdy Rise interview later on. Um, all right, back to you. Back to you. <laughs> How do you feel about Luke's Freak Fest? Hey, Uncle Luke's been doing his thing for years, you okay, know no, what I mean? No, no, no. Are you down with Luke? I'm down with Are Luke. You down with the Freak Fest? I'm down with the Freak Fest. Whatever I want to do. You married. You married. I can still be down with the Freak Fest. It ain't no thing. Oh, uh -huh. you freaking at the Freak Fest? I've I never been to one, but I have my own Freak Fest at home, uh -huh. baby. <laughs> How many kids you got? I don't have any. Really? Not yet. You looking forward to them? Yeah, maybe maybe this time next year I'll start injecting sperm and making a child. <laughs> you crazy. You know that, right? All right, y'all ripped it out there. Y'all broke the stage. Y'all crazy. What's going on, baby? Down. That's what we do, man. We started in the clubs. We started coming to New York, being from Jersey back in the late 80s, just saying we from Jersey and getting booed right out of New York. So we've been booed, thrown shit at us, all kinds of things. But all that practice helped us, man. And it don't matter if it's three people, if it's a nasty sound system, if the crowd is booing, we will turn that shit all the way around and keep it cracking, huh?
All right, battling through our raps. How do you feel about that? Like 50 Cent, this and Jigga, Jigga, this and him. You know, how you feel about that? I think it's healthy. Hip hop has been built on battle raps, competition. Battle rhyming is healthy, but when you take it to the street level and you got to die because of it, that's not, you know, real good. And you're supposed to go skill for skill. If somebody got better skills than you, you go home and work on your skills. You don't come back with a gun wanting to murder the kid. You just get up on your game. So hip hop was built on competition and battling and it's good, that's healthy. Okay, I want to clear something up real fast too, okay? All right, when Pac died, you know, y'all were all close with Pac, right? All right, when Big died, y'all didn't go to the funeral, right? Who? I mean, was there anything? I mean, yeah, Tretch, Tretch and K went to the funeral for Biggie. And actually, KG produced something on Biggie's last album, no, I'm Missing no, You. It wasn't no personal beef no, or anything. We got love for everybody, man. Naughty are OGs. We done put it down with Easy e We done put it down with Big Pun. Tupac, Biggie, we didn't put it down with the whole industry, man. We got love. It's just that Tupac was a very personal friend of Tretch's, you know what I mean? So we worked on both sides. We got love for Puff, Bad Boy, Biggie, Brooklyn, all that shit. Is there anybody you don't got love for? Um, not basically, nah. Naughty, we, we cool with everybody. Not for the people. Basically. Like I said, everybody from the hood, y'all for. Yo, we give a lot of respect. I think that's why we get a lot of respect. And, you know, when it comes down to it, we ready for it. So whoever want to bring it, bring it. That's it. What can we look forward to from Naughty by Nature for 2G, baby? Right now we're working um, on our new album. It's not titled yet. And we're working on a movie called The Block. We'll be shooting that in Jersey this July, and we'll turn it around for um, back to school, maybe a stock and stuff, for, like November. And we want everybody to make sure you check us out on the World Wide Web at NaughtyByNature.com, and we'll keep you posted on everything we're doing, huh? Anything else you want to let them know before we break out of here? Yeah, I want to thank y'all for putting us on Artist Corner. This is the Ellis Underground Hip Hop video show you're gonna see. Keep supporting underground hip hop. Keep supporting underground video shows. And we'll be back at y'all with our boys Rotten Rascals cause we're doing an independent project on them. And we'll be reaching out to shows like this to help break us. All right, y'all heard it here first. We're gonna get that interview, right? Definitely. All right, y'all heard it here first on Artist Corner with Tiffany. We coming back with my boy, my co-host Chris, all right? One. One. One.